Hey, good morning. Welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? If you're new here to our channel, we do hotel tours and travel vlogs all around the world. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more hotel tours. So today we're in Whistler and we're checking out one of the nicest hotels here the Fairmont Chateau Whistler. So if you're a bit like us, we like to go on YouTube and check out some, some tours and get some information about the hotel in the area we're staying in. We're gonna head inside. I'll show you all around the Fairmont Chateau Whistler. Let's head inside. Okay, so before we head inside, I just put on my mask. We're in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic still. So if I sound a little muffled, I do apologize, but I have my face covering on so I can go inside. They don't require it inside the Fairmont Chateau Whistler, but they do very much encourage it. So as you come in from the road over here on your trip in from Whistler, you're going to drive up here in through the circle and you can drop off your bags just here. So they have two options for parking. You can self park or you can valet. They're pretty close to the same price. So we just chose to do valet. The bell desk just at the front here, they'll help you with your luggage, taking anything you need up to your room which was really nice show you a little bit of what the hotel looks like from the outside here the sun is just rising so it's a little bit hard to see but there's the one wing of the hotel and then panning over here here's the really nice entrance and then over this way that's the walkway you would take to get to the village so this is the upper village right here and if you continue walking about 10 minutes that way you can follow the path it'll take you to the lower village so just before going in the hotel you can sanitize your hands and I'm, ex I'm excited for you guys to see the inside it looks so awesome very much in tune with um, here in British Columbia it looks very lodge like almost lots of stone and wood so let's head inside here and here we go nice so this is the Chateau Whistler here at the Fairmont so just a little wayfinding before we start here Basically, once you walk in, the concierge is right here. The front desk to check in is just beside them to the left. Further along down here, you'll see the back doors out to some nice walking paths and the restaurants, which we'll get to in just a few minutes. There's a nice little sitting area out here as well. And then over this way, there's the elevators to get up to your room and the conference center just over here. So again, like I said, we're still in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. So they basically have a little sign here that says, if you're feeling unwell, let somebody know right away. Um, please try to maintain the social distancing of two meters away from other staff and guests. And uh, please consider using hand sanitizer. And um, also letting you know too that um, all the surfaces and touch surfaces are being sanitized once every two hours by staff members, so that's awesome. So just in front of me here, as soon as you walk in for your check-in, there's usually two people sitting here, but it's just really, really early in the morning right now. And what they're gonna be doing for you is temperature checks. So moving along here, there's a nice little sitting area just over here to the, the right and the left. So if you uh, wanna just kick up your feet for a bit after your long drive into Whistler, there's some nice, a nice spot to do that. And right here in the middle of the lobby, they have these fresh flowers and these smell absolutely amazing. I just uh, stopped to put my something in my bag and I, I was overwhelmed by how well, how amazing these smell. So uh, yeah, that's awesome that they put these nice fresh flowers in the lobby here to make it smell really nice. So the concierge desk is over here. I just want to shout out to one person and that is Joanne at the concierge. She is a very, very helpful person. She helped us out a lot with planning some of our activities and giving us some information around the area. So thank you so much, Joanne. And a uh, big shout out to you for helping us out and making us feel at home here at the Fairmont. Okay, so swinging around here, this is the uh, two restaurants located here, one called Wildflower and one called The Grill Room. Uh, here's the menus too for Wildflower. And this one's the afternoon menu for the wildflower. And then I will put up the menu for the grill room because I don't see it anywhere here up on the screen right now.
and the grill room is a restaurant that is located in the back of the wildflower. So you'd go all the way through the wildflower and back into the back and the grill room is located back there. So let's uh, take a quick peek out here. So out this way. Oh, it's really nice out here. Oh, nice. I actually didn't see this until now. So this is again the wildflower restaurant and this is the garden terrace. So if you come over here, you can have breakfast or I'm assuming it's open for dinner and lunch as well. Uh, and it's a really, this is actually really amazing back here. So there's like a nice little waterfall just over here and a nice little stream to add to the ambiance. It's, it's very relaxing out here. And they have these heat lamps here to keep you warm while you're, oh yeah, that feels good. And then over this way, there's a really, really cool looking birdhouse. Actually, that is really interesting, very unique. So yeah, if you want a really peaceful, relaxing spot to have breakfast in the morning, this is it. I think this table right here. This is the second restaurant here. This one's called the Mallard Lounge. And again, just like the Wildflower Terrace, they have another terrace too called the Mallard Terrace. The Mallard Lounge is a bit more, um, as it states, kind of like a lounge. There's like nice couches, which I'll show you in just a second inside. Um, it's a bit more relaxed, not so much like a table seating. And then just over to the left in between both terraces, if you continue walking out, you'll walk out actually of the resort and out into the upper village. And just over beyond this uh, pathway right here would be the gondola and the ski slopes in the winter time. But these gondolas actually do operate in the summertime as well, and they'll take you up to the mountain so you can do some nice hiking. This is the back of the resort. So there's all the rooms, and there's a really special room. I'll show you that in just a second. And the hotel continues just over that way as well, around the corner. So here's the special room. I think it's floor 12, and it's way, way up there. This one here with the big, big windows and a big balcony. Okay, so um, a nice gentleman from the hotel here. He actually asked me if I wanted to come up to the Woodlands rooftop and showed me where it was. So here it is here. Um, one thing to note about this restaurant is that it's not actually open to the guests most of the time. And that's just for now. They're working on some plans. I don't know if you can see it there. So they're working on some plans to try to open it up as like a permanent, permanent location for guests to go to. But right now it's just open for larger events. So there's a nice tent over here, wherever you can go and, and hang out um, with, with your event. There's a chapel here as well, so you can uh, get married and have a function up here. And it's, it's gorgeous up here, it looks great. Okay, so on our way up the stairs, or I'm going down the stairs right now, um, looking out the window here, there's a tennis court. And uh, that's a really, really nice looking tennis court too. And the gentleman let me know that if you wanted to uh, reserve a time here, you can go to the health and fitness club, ask them to book a time and they have equipment for you. So you can enjoy some tennis here in Whistler at the Fairmont. So we're back inside the lobby now. And uh, one thing I'll actually just point out to you over here is there's like a small little hallway, which just shows like a, a couple extra doors into the wildflower. And then washrooms just down the hall here too. And there's a small little business center just right here and one further on down the road there. So down the hall here, we have a few different things, especially all the way down here. But just to the left of us here is the Mallard Lounge. So here's where you would check into the Mallard Lounge. And it doesn't look like they have a menu out right now, but they do have these um, uh, QR codes where you can scan and then digitize and get a digital version of the menu. So a lot of restaurants are actually doing that now instead of handing out menus, they'll just put those, these little QR codes on your table. So it prevents, you know, um, different guests handling the same menu. There's a really awesome spot right here in these, uh, this lounge area, right beside the, this massive fireplace. This is a cool spot to hang out if you can get it. So just behind me here, there's a spot set up for live entertainment and there was some live entertainment last night. So that's awesome. If you like music, you can come down here, hang out with your friends or family and listen to some live music and have some drinks and a little bite to eat. 
Okay, so we're just outside the Mallard Lounge here, and we're gonna head down the hallway here and see what else is in the far end of the hotel. So there's a uh, store here called Open Country, and they've got all kinds of, uh, looks like they have a sale on right now actually too. So they have all kinds of apparel and um, formal wear, more dress shirts and belts and ties, and then some uh, dresses and uh, blouses and handbags, all kinds of stuff. And then down this way, this is where Vida Spa is located. Just over here to the left is the health and fitness club and pool. So it says it's open from 6.30 to 11 p.m. at night. So you do need a room card to go in here, but um, I'll put up some footage of what it looks like inside the um, the pools and uh, we went there at night time so it was uh, it's a little dark but it's lit up really really nicely as well all right so this is the outdoor pool portion so you'd have to make a reservation to come here you can go to the concierge and do that so there's a few different uh, hot tubs there's one just over here and there's a couple more over here and then the pools just in front of me here too are heated very nicely as well the one really awesome thing about this, besides these day beds here right in front of me that you can just reserve, and all this is included with your stay, the one awesome thing about this is right back here, there's a cabana bar. So there's people coming around all day asking you for uh, drink orders and you can get wine, cocktails, beer, and they deliver it right to your, right to your chair. There's also inside as well, so there's hot tub indoors, um, just to the right there, there's another pool that's inside and it's all heated as well. And just beyond that, there's a sauna inside. And then to the left over on that side, over here would be the fitness club, the gym with uh, some treadmills and exercise equipment. Health and fitness club is right uh, here where we just were. The um, spa is behind me. And then the hallway down to the lobby is this way. So there's a set of stairs that goes down here. And this goes down to um, Portobello, the restaurant, and the uh, retail arcade. So um, the other thing they have here too is an adventure desk for any activities, and a ski and bicycle check too, and somewhere to get your bike serviced or stored too. They actually will store your bicycle here while you're in your room when you're not using it. This is a Portobello restaurant. And then down this way in the hall, we have the retail arcade. And then swinging around here, here's the staircase going back up to the lobby. And then uh, Portobello is just behind me. I've just been standing here for a couple minutes and that's actually very busy this morning. There's lots of people going in and out of here. Uh, so maybe Portobello is the hot spot to go for, for food. So down these steps here, this is where you can um, store your skis or your snowboard or in the winter time. And um, where you can store your bike or even rent equipment here in, uh, in this spot here. So this is Whistler Black Home Rentals. Um, and the desk here is the adventure group where you would go to book any activities or any things that you want to do while you're staying here in Whistler. Okay, so that's going to do it for our hotel tour here at the Fairmont Chateau Whistler. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button. And uh, we're going to be doing some more hotel tours as we go through our road trip here in British Columbia and Alberta. So we're going to be at the Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise in about a week or so and we'll do another hotel tour and the surrounding area just around Lake Louise so stay tuned for that so I'm gonna continue on here go for a little walk and maybe find some breakfast for Mona and I and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're we going next